Hey folks, so Darth is here, back with another Daisy server hosting how-to guide. This time I'll be going over the installation and setup for the Daisy E editor or economy editor, my Shamanator. Uh, this application's got a ton of different features, uh, but primarily I'm going to be going over the installation and setting up a first project to go over the economy editing feature of the tool. For this video, I do recommend that you check out the other video uh, in the description. It goes over how I set up my types files. So with that, let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is make a projects folder. I do this by adding the folder to a separate drive. So here you can see I have a folder called Daisy Projects with nothing inside. Now to install the Daisy E editor, uh, the instructions that I've got I've received from Shamanator himself say that you must install all of the versions in order, starting with 0 0.5 all the way through 0.5.6. So the first one will pretty easy. Install it. You can use the default options. Once it's done, you can go and click finish. Now for all the incremental updates, just copy and paste them into the Daisy e-editor folder. And you're going to replace all the files that currently exist in there. I'll go ahead and do that for all of the incremental updates. Going all the way up to 0 0.5.6. All of these files are available in a channel on Shamanator's Discord. I'll put a link to that in the description below. And I will be back after I finish copying over all of these. Now that I've updated all the way from 0 0.5 to 0 0.5.6, next thing we need to do is we need to change the permissions on the project folder within the installation directory. So right click, go to properties. Go to security, edit, select the users, and give the users modify permissions. And then we can launch the editor. Now, to create your first project, I'm going to show you both ways um, because I've done, for the sake of the video, I've done it, I've set up my files a little bit differently. Um, but I'm going to show you the actual way to do it, and I'm going to show you how I've done it for uh, for the sake of the video. So we'll go over here to uh, Projects. For this, I'm going to name it Test. Now we're going to select the Projects folder. This is the folder that we made earlier. See Projects. And... For the most part, I, I see people doing existing mission files because what you want to do with this with this tool is you want to ex edit your existing files and tweak them. So we're going to choose existing mission for this example. For the profiles section, we're going to name it profiles. I'm not going to get into the profiles in this video um, because, because that's going over different things like working on expansion settings and stuff like that. And for the mission folder to use, this is where it kind of deviates in my video compared to what you would normally do. What you would normally do is you would locate your actual installation directory for your server. So for me, use a mega manager, and my server is under C, servers, day Z, servers, zero, and MP missions. Now that's where you would select your mission folder and click OK. For the sake of the video, what I have done is I've go ahead and I've gone ahead and copied my mission folder to an alternate location just so I could have my server running live while I did this. Um, we're going to choose my mission folder here. 
and we're going to create the project. See it loaded over here. It's not loaded in the program yet, but we are going to restart the application. And you'll see that it's now currently loaded. It's the active project. I would recommend go back over to projects, select your project. And if you're using the expansion market or Dr. Jones, choose those and then load it. Um, like I said, I'm not going to get into anything else for markets or profiles. We're just going to be talking here about the economy manager. So if I open up the economy manager and expand this out, you'll see that it lists all my types. Again, check out the other my other video in the description on how I set my types files up and it will make a little bit more sense here. Um, so what what the editor has actually done is it takes the it makes a we made the test folder. And what it does is it makes a copy of your actual, you know, if we had done it the normal way, it would have taken a copy of your actual mission profile and put it in here. Um, because like, like I said, my server is running, so I didn't pull an actual live copy. I just pulled a sample copy, which is what we're doing here. Um, so you'll see that all of my types files broken out into their folders are also the ones that are listed here. So what you can do is you can go into each of these categories and you can go in here and adjust the items individually. You can change each nominal and minimum and lifetime of the of the items. You can change where they spawn, what zones or what tiers, uh, their locations, and, you know, like the floor, shelves, or ground. Um, and you can do that to each item. Um, and what you would do is, you, once you go through all your items and you adjust them accordingly, you'll save it. And what that will do is that will export those files to your project folder, not to your, not that one, not to your live server. It's going to bring it to your project here. Um, another edit you can do is you can do full collection edits. Um, Shamanator and I discovered that you can't actually do your entire project. You do have to go to each sub collection. So like if I wanted to change the, um, the min and max multipliers for all of my vanilla types in here. So we'll go back here into the ACOG. If I wanted to cut every item's nominal count down by half um, I could do that so what you would do you would need to go to each section if you want to do your entire server you go to each section and do this for the example here I'm just going to do the vanilla types so you would select your collection here don't select the whole project just select the collection of types you go over here choose what you want you can multiply them by 10 or divide them by 10 or anywhere in between if we wanted to divide all of the items in the vanilla types by two we need to change their minimums also and we'll apply it to the collection no error if i were to have done that up here and applied it's going to error out so what you'll see is my nominal count didn't change up here what you need to do is you still need to save this and it's going to export any modifications. So what we've only modified are the vanilla types. So if we save this, only the types.xml files were saved. And you can see, I'll show you, in my types files, each of my different mods, I name them something else. So all of my active types files don't just say type or types. They say something specific. Um, so my types files were saved. What you would need to do now is you would need to go to that project folder. You'd go to the types file that it just modified. If you open it up, you'll see that egg cog should be cut in half now. And it is. Earlier it was only set to 10. Or it was set to 10, and now it's set to 5. Um... If you go back though, you'll still see that my nominal count is at the same number. What you need to do is you need to reload the application. 
kind of load the project that you had earlier. Back to economy manager. And you can see now that it's adjusted the nominal count. That was just by me cutting all of the vanilla types in half. Um, you need to be careful though, because if you go in here and say you want to cut all the weapons in half, you can do that. You can cut just the weapons in half and change the minimum and apply it. But if you do it here and then do it here, you're cutting your weapons by four. You're dividing them by four. So you got three options. You can do them individually. You can do them by class, or you can do them by the entirety of the collection. Um, so if you wanted to do it for the whole survey, if you wanted to cut all of your uh, nominal types in half, you would need to do it for each of these sections. Uh, my recommendation is to expand out each section. That way it loads the, uh, the information into the application. We would go, so for my win starter, I would do it divide by two, change min, apply. Mortys, for example, apply. Now, when we save that, you'll see two types files got changed this time, the uh, Windstrider and the Mortys types. And I would still need to go into where those are saved in our projects folder, copy the types files, and then move them to the main server. That's about it. Um, pretty cut and dry. Um, I'll see about doing some more videos in the future, um, working with profiles and additional mods. So like expansion, you can, I, I believe you can work on airdrop settings and stuff like that. Um, but that's all I got for today. Got any questions, uh, leave them in the comments um, or head over to Shamanator's Discord, uh, A Decade of Decay. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Thanks.